In this video, we are discussing question number 7.6 given in your textbook, which is on page number 204. And in the previous one, we actually discussed the reactions and heterogeneous equilibrium. So the value of Kp for the reaction CO2 plus C gives rise to 2CO is 3.0 at 1000 Kelvin. If initially partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 0.48 bar and partial pressure of carbon monoxide is 0 bar and pure graphite is present, Calculate the equilibrium partial pressures of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. So first of all, as we learned, pure solids have a constant concentration. And because of that, we will not be considering them for the value of Kp. Now we've been given Kp equals to 3.0. And if you notice, this question is sort of similar to question number 7.4, which was discussed, I think, in the video before the video, I mean, like two videos ago. So the equation is CO2 plus C gives rise to 2CO. Now, again, we don't consider this graphite, uh, the concentration of graphite, because it's going to be constant. So initially, you have um, P, the partial pressure is 0 0.48 bar initially and the partial pressure of carbon monoxide is zero bar. Now at equilibrium if we assume that x is the decrease in pressure or x is the increase in pressure of carbon monoxide then the concentration uh, sorry the partial pressure at equilibrium is 0 0.48 minus x bar and partial pressure for carbon monoxide is going to be 2x bar because you have 2 as the stoichiometric coefficient of carbon monoxide. Now Kp equals to partial pressure of carbon monoxide square divided by partial, partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So that is equal to 2x square divided by 0 0.48 minus x. This is equal to 3.5. Zero. Now, when we simplify this equation, we uh, basically, when we shift it around uh, so that you get 4x square equals to 3.0 into 0 0.48 minus x. Now, when we multiply this inside, we get 4x square equals to 1.44 minus 3x. Okay, so 1.44 minus 3x. Now, when we rearrange this to get a quadratic equation, so it's going to be 4x squared minus, uh, sorry, plus 3x plus 1.44 minus 1 equals to 0. And we know that for a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, x equals to minus b plus or minus root over b squared minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So we're substituting x equals to b is 3, so minus 3 plus or minus root over 3 squared minus 4 into a, that is 4 into C, that's one, minus 1.44, divided by 2 into 4. So this, when simplified, I feel like this is slightly easier than the previous one. This, when simplified, gives us minus 3, plus or minus 5.66, divided by 8. So you can have both plus or minus. So... Um, in case of, first we take x equals to minus 3 plus, sorry, minus 5.66 divided by 8. And then x equals to minus 3 plus 5.66 divided by 8. Now when we simplify this equation, we will have a minus sign in the numerator. And if we have a minus sign, we cannot have the partial pressure in the negative value. And because of that, this 
can be ignored. Next, we have this. When we simplify this particular equation, we get 0 0.33. So this is the partial pressure of, sorry, this is the value of x. So at equilibrium, the partial pressure is, will be CO2, PCO2 equals to 0 0.48 minus 0 0.33. And PCO will be equal to 2 into 0 0.33. So the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 0 0.66. Sorry. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide is uh, 0.15 bar. And partial pressure of carbon monoxide is 0 0.66 bar. Uh, I'd like to point out that in your textbooks, at least in the version that I have, uh, both of them have been given as partial pressure of carbon dioxide. The first one is actually the partial pressure of carbon monoxide. And these are all at equilibrium. So essentially, we took, we did the same thing as we did in question number 7.4. Only difference is in that case, we considered the concentration. And in this one, we considered the partial pressure. Another difference was the fact that all of their uh, stoichiometric coefficients were 1. So it was not a big deal. But over here, we have a difference stoichiometric coefficient that is 2 which had to be considered and that is it uh, with that we're done with reactions and heterogeneous equilibrium in the next video i'll be discussing the units of kp and kc